so far this is $70. So, gluten free soy sauce, so pasta, avocado oil, gluten free oatmeal, butter, sea salt, some tomatoes, two, three different types of teas. 70 bucks. I ended up spending $139 at Sprouts, so now let's get into the breakdown of why. So first off, I had to get my alkaline water because I absolutely love this water and it was on sale for two for seven dollars. It's very delicious and it's really good for your body. I got some gluten-free pasta because I love making pasta salads and I'm just a noodle head. I love anything pasta, so I had to get some um, squigglies and I also got some of the spaghetti noodles. Um, so we're gonna try this pasta out and hopefully it's not soggy. I got some avocado oil because this is one of my favorite vegetable oils to cook with. And then I also got some grass-fed butter that is sea salted um, because I love my grass-fed animals. So your girl had to pick up some plant-based beef bouillon because again, I love noodles and I love making soups. Not only is this vegan, but it's also gluten-free. So I thought this was a really good alternative to making broths. I got this organic Great Northern Beans, um, or can of beans, because I am going to make a soup. So I also got some crushed tomatoes with no salt added because um, sodium is very triggering to the inflammation of my thyroid. I also got some raw honey with the honeycomb because this is the absolute best honey I've ever tried. And I am going to put it in my teas, except this one, which I like to put into my water bottles. I got some chamomile and honey tea because chamomile is supposed to be really good for the inflammation. And then I got some matcha green tea just because it's a really good tea to drink daily. And I just wanted to give myself an immunity boost. I love my Angus beef, so I bought some um, beef stew meat that was $7.28. I'm very pricey because this is not a pound. I don't even think it's a half a pound, but whatever. I got some Atlantic sea salt. I like mine fine because it's very, very salty. So I just wanted to make sure that it was crunched up enough for me to not have to use a lot of at one time. So these are some of the wonderful things that I can't wait to try. I definitely had to get me some breakfast chicken sausage because I cannot find this anywhere. So even though it was $8, it's very well worth it because I absolutely cannot have pork. And sometimes turkey sausage can be a little boring. Now your girl loves sushi, so I had to find some gluten-free soy sauce. And I was very curious, like, what makes this gluten-free? And basically they use rice instead of using, like, flour or wheat to um, produce this soy sauce. So this was, like, one of my splurge items. This was actually $6 for this box, which is expensive. But I will say that this is some very, very delicious oatmeal, and I am glad I bought it. So your girl loves to snack, so I had to get me some lightly sea salted organic popcorn um, that I'm going to take to work. And y'all don't laugh, but I, like I said, I'm a noodle head and the packaging on this was perfect. So yeah, it was $10, but so what? I'm going to use this for my cheat days. Then I got me a mini watermelon because I love watermelons. Just make sure you tap that good baby, make sure it's juicy inside. I stopped by the bulk section and got me some brown sugar, which was very non-expensive, but the package one was $5. I got me some buttered toffee peanuts, which I am addicted to. I need to stop eating these like they are going out of style. But I also got some honey toasted pecans, which I thought were almonds, but it's okay. I tore them up. They had my tongue itching, but they were delicious and very expensive. I got some jumbo golden raisins. I will say be careful with these because they're very sweet, but I bought them to put in my oatmeal. Um, so I just used like a little tiny, tiny hand, handful. And then I bought these cosmic, um, I forgot what they're called, these apples in order to chop them up and put in my oatmeal, but I never did. I got this cheap organic cilantro, which was a little pricey, but it was well worth the price. 
I got a celery stock for $1.99, which was a little pricey, but this aroma tomato was only 38 cents and I only needed one. Then I got this yellow onion, which was very cheap as well. And then I got me an organic green onion, which is a little pricey, but again, good produce. I'm willing to pay a little extra for. For the bananas, I only picked up four, which I'm happy I did because as soon as I put them in the fridge, they rotted. <laughs> but you know, that's how it goes. And then lastly, I had to get me some fruit and vegetable wash so that I could wash everything and just eat it straight out of the fridge without worrying about having to rinse it off. Now your girl did make a stop at Food Line because Sprouts didn't have everything. So I got me some vanilla flavor oat milk, which I really like. But my cereals, I got some kombucha because even though kombucha is kind of expensive, Food Line has like the most decent prices when it comes to kombucha. I think these were like $2.50 a piece. Um, I love me some okra, but I could not find frozen okra at Sprouts, so I made sure to get a package of that because I'm going to tear it up. Then we're going to add our um, sweet corn into our soup, even though it's not real, I know, whatever. And then, of course, I had to grab me some um, scoops because they are gluten-free. So I bought these to eat with my avocado. Well, not avocado, my guacamole that I'm getting ready to make. And then I love these Zesty Ranch veggie fries. They're absolutely amazing, and they're gluten-free. So I buy these to snack on at work. So overall, even though your girl spent a whopping $140 on these groceries, I think it was well worth it. And, you know... It hurt my pockets, but health is wealth, and in order to be healthy, we got to be wealthy. So, you know, it is what it is. Take care of your health, y'all, so you don't have to spend this kind of money. <clears throat> Mom, about to come. Oh, my God. I love her. Give it to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got some babies. Oops. <laughs> I forgot I put these in here. Yes, yeah, the meat. 